Oh, look at that little bunny over there. He's running. Oh, crap. Hey, guys. I didn't see you there. Today, we are, in fact, buying our first house in New World. And where's that house going to be, you ask? It's going to be in Everfall. Now, the main reason why I decided to pick Everfall, like, pick my first house in Everfall, like, buy a house, is because that's where I first started. On the closed beta of New World, I actually started in Monarch's Bluffs. Um, Monarch's Bluff, Monarch's Bluffs, sorry I can't pronounce that name for some reason tonight, but we started in Monarch's Bluffs and that was really cool, but on the live version of New World, I actually started in Everfall, and it's actually a solid zone, I really like Everfall, I really um, enjoy Windsward too, the hemp farm there, like the fibre farm, is insane so that's why i like windsward and just in general it's a lovely zone weaver's fen is cool our company owns morningdale currently just all the zones like the majority of them are really cool so i'm not gonna lie but our first house is going to be in everfall we saved up enough money we have 15k gold so we're gonna buy the max like um gold house so the one that costs the most amount of money so that's really cool and then we obviously got um, level 30 territory standing with Everfall not too long ago. So that's pretty decent as well. And obviously, our faction owns Everfall. So that's why we're going to obviously buy our first house here today. And I'm really excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the houses. Kind of give my um, opinion on each house. And then we're going to buy one. And then hopefully maybe decorate some of the house. So obviously stay tuned for that. So you have this house here. Um, it's only 5k, so obviously we're not going to go and buy that one. This one's 10k, so I could actually go with this house. I think this is the house my girlfriend purchased. So, um, let's see. Yeah, my girlfriend purchased this house, so not too shabby. She purchased it the other day, but she hasn't had much time to play. So, look at her dog, dude. Don't tell her. <laughs> Put out a fire, too. <laughs> That's the second time I've done that, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's getting cold in your house today. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll light it back up. But we are not going to go with that house um, just because I don't really like the colour as such. There's a 7.5k house here. There's also a. Uh, uh, can't speak. There's a 5k house. Um, if we go along here, there's some houses that I tend to forget about because no one really comes down here. There's nothing to actually do down here. You've got a 7.5k house. We're looking for the 10ks, obviously. Another 7.5k, a 5k house, you have some houses down here, first time I walked through this way, not going to lie, um, you have a 10k house here, so we could obviously go with this one, close to the exit, which is pretty cool, or the entrance, however you want to look at it, close to like the loom and everything here, um, so that's pretty cool, and I really like doing the loom, um, I find it's really good, look at my professions man. Pretty solid, not gonna lie. So we could go with this house. A lot of people own this one now, but pretty solid. This house I actually like the look of because I want to go with like a red house. I thought that would be a good idea and obviously the space is quite decent. It's a 10k house. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the house where um that not many people own. Like I think this is the least bought house in Everfall on my um world. So on obviously Inferni on EU and everything. So... Yeah, I mean, I understand why, because it's a three-layered house, so it's quite small um, in terms of, you know, like, width and everything, but the height is actually really solid. The only thing I don't like about this house, like, everything's okay, is, like, the grass, dude. Why is it so goddamn long? So, not going with that house, but um, for, like, the most expensive houses, I'm pretty sure that is the least bought house in Everfall, so... That kind of sucks. And there's a couple houses here, but we covered those last because I'm probably going to buy one of them. Spoilers alert. And uh, we go up here and check out the other houses. Um, obviously, you can skip to when I buy my house if you want to, but I just want to showcase all the houses because I think it's better that way. Um, so we have a house here, 7.5k. This guy doesn't even let you view his house. Uh, this is a 10k house, though. Pretty solid. You know what? I was thinking this house probably looks like one of the most cleanest houses um but i don't know man i don't think we're gonna go with that one it's it's next to the fast travel point which is okay 
it's here, but I never come up this way if I'm completely honest. I, well, I sometimes enter through this way after I've done, like, questing and stuff, but I never, like, you know what I mean? I feel like I'd be better getting a house near the hub. We can actually view this and everything. Hold up. Um, we will have to view someone else's because, obviously, we can't enter. So, the space is cool. Not gonna lie. Um... Everything's solid about this house. Like, the colour scheme is exactly what I want. We have solid garden. Like, a back garden and a front garden. This is this is high up on my list. We, we'll come back to that one. Because that's kind of exactly what I want. But, but it's inconvenient. I suppose it's near the town board and the war board. So, that's pretty good. But I, I really wanted one just in the central hub here. So... I mean, it really doesn't matter, right? But I kind of just wanted one in the central hub. This one, I like a lot. It's convenient. It's by everything. It's not red, though. That one is red. But this one probably looks the coolest, if I'm completely honest. Can we, yeah, we can view this person's house. So, in terms of from out from the outside and everything, this one just looks clean. Uh, most houses look the same, though. But, I don't know. Sorry, I'm kind of just showing you all the houses and actually haven't bought my own house yet. But just for anyone who's, you know, um, intrigued on what all the houses look like, I can just give you a better understanding. Let's look at this person. So this is the house I'm thinking of buying. Doesn't look the best, but when you get inside, it's convenient. Stairs are right in front of you. You can go up uh, and down the stairs wherever you want. Um, you know, no back garden though. Technically there is, I think, and there's a side route. No! Wow, I actually didn't even notice that, so I might not buy that house. Huh. It's close to the um, central hub, though. We have another 10k house here. Um, Only issue with this house is it's just inconvenient. It, it looks okay. I mean, not the best, not the worst, but it's just... You have this little patio area here. You've got to go up each time, so... Kind of sucks. Still haven't made my mind up what house I want. And then this is a 7.5k house that... Don't know if we showed earlier. Don't think we did. So that's all the houses, as I recall. Sorry if I missed any, but I'm pretty sure we got them all. Now, I'm just going to take some time to think about what house I want to buy. And then I'll be right back. So, yeah. I'll be with you in a couple seconds. Before we actually choose our house, guys, there's actually another house here, um, which I didn't know about at all. 7.5k, but it's up these little steps here. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, but other than that, I think we covered all of the houses. You have this 5k one and everything, but I think I've showed all of them now, but I actually didn't know there was a house there, so that's pretty cool. And as I recall, no! you can't get in this one here. Um, not even from the back entrance, I think, because it's blocked off, right? Yeah, so that's actually pretty cool. I, I did not know that at all, but we're going to pick our house um, in a couple seconds. I still need to decide, obviously, what house I want, so two seconds more. <laughs> all right, guys, after contemplating for a long period of time, we are back, and this is the house I'm going to choose. So... The main reason why I'm going to choose this house over the other red one down there in the central hub is just just because it looks nicer, right? On the outside, in my opinion, it just looks nicer. You're probably thinking, for starters, Extrathus, why would you want a house? Um, it's because it increases your storage, which is good. You get another fast travel point, so I can actually come to Everfall two times now. I think the fast travel is on a two-hour cooldown, and because I actually made Everfall my home, like... um. I can recall to inn like every hour to Everfall because I went to the innkeeper and I made it um, my inn. So I can actually recall to inn, um, which is good. So I have two fast travel points here. That means, you know, if I wanted to, I can get rid of my recall to inn and put it in Morningdale or something because um, our company owns that. But I don't know what I want to do, but this is the house we're going to buy um, just because it looks nicer. Convenience wise, I actually think the other house would be better. But at the same time, I know I said for it's really convenient that the steps are right in front of you, but it's it's going to get annoying. I think like the space is quite small for a 10k house, and you don't have a proper garden. So buying this house, um, so 
The house um, is discounted by half price, which is really, really good because um, obviously if you get high at full standing or wherever you buy your house, you're going to get your house um, half price, as I recall, because it's your first home you bought. And well, if it's your first house, obviously it's the first home you bought and um, you just get a reduction in price, which is really, really cool. Property tax um, has gone down for me because I have quite a lot of... Um, things for Everfall with my territory standings. Um, I have my bonuses like property tax it has been reduced by 21.5% in Everfall which is decent. So having a house allows you to decorate your house. Awesome. You have a two hour cooldown so you can fast travel there whenever you want. Well every two hours and you have five trophy slots that give you buffs when like crafting everything. So we're gonna buy it man. Boom. House purchased. Oh yeah, MTV crib. So here we got nothing. We got nothing in the home. We got, dude. I thought there was a fire there. I thought they took it. Then it's there. And what else do we have? We have absolutely nothing. So we're gonna decorate our house. What can we do, dude? I don't think I have anything. Oh, we got some spooky jack o' lanterns. Wait, do we have? Dude, this would take me hours just to goddamn do all this. So we got books and everything. We have a dog. Oh, ho, ho, we got a puppy, dude. Puppy can go in the grass. Not really. We stick the dog. Wait, can we rotate? Oh, no. Oh, no. Dog, you've broke my game. Dog. Yo, hold up. A few moments later. Dude, the dog actually broke my game. What? <laughs> okay, there we go. Goddamn dog breaking my game. Um, how do I rotate it? Okay. So the dog can chill over there, I guess. We got some jack-o'-lanterns. We'll throw one right there, dude. We'll throw another. You know what? Let's throw them next to each other. What else have we got? We got dishes. We got a sentimental note. Yo, can I put it up here? Oh, dude. Everyone, you want to come to my house? You can read that sentimental note. That's all good. If you want an unsettling note, find it in the grass. <laughs> Not really. I guess. I guess for now, we're just gonna throw everything everywhere. Can we? Whoa! The unsettling settling note is by the goddamn um, fireplace. I don't know, man. I don't think we'll go and decorate everything because this would be like a forty-minute video or something. But this is the house I bought it looks pretty cool. I like it, and yeah, we're gonna have to pay a load of taxes now, but. It's all good regardless. Um, let me know in the comments though what house you actually bought because I'll be really intrigued to know because I, I don't know. I, I would just like to hear, you know, how you guys have been getting on with New World and what you've been up to and everything. So really, really solid. But um, hopefully you enjoyed my previous video, which was in fact the Star Stone Burrows or Barrows, however you pronounce that expedition name. Do to do, do the Star Stone Barrows. Um, dungeon like my first run through that with my girlfriend and yeah more videos to come and really hope you enjoyed this one if you did then obviously make sure to leave a like comment down below as the goddamn bells um you know ring in the distance aka right next to me goddamn oh i didn't even think of that my house is next to a goddamn church so that means the bells are gonna ring all the time but hey i guess you know they can bless me with some good Low low taxes, am I right? Am I right? Yeah, they're going to bless me with some low taxes. But I'm rambling, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then obviously make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out my social media links in the description down below. And my dog here says make sure you subscribe. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. So, peace! Hey, why why did you crash my game? Huh? Not not cool. Don't do it again, please, okay? But you're a good boy. You you you're a good boy. <laughs>